Have you ever walked into an event, a date, a get together with friends or work, and you feel completely out of place because you totally didn't dress for the occasion? I am Jacqueline Nichols, and we are on day 72 of our 90-day quest to improve on confidence, communication, charisma, fun, flirting, and community. I want to talk about this. I love that actually lately I've noticed some fun commercials that are reminding you how important it is to kind of look a little put together, like they're selling laundry detergent, I think it is, and fabric softeners, so your clothes don't look totally worn out or totally wrinkled, but it does make a difference when we put ourselves a little more together. We put a little extra effort into what it is that we want our look to say. Now, recently I was out thrift shopping and found some great deals. I mean, my uh, New Year's Eve dress was only $7, and I've been wanting a jacket to go walk and exercise, and I found one for $12 at a consignment shop. So it's not about spending a ton of money, it's about taking the time to put yourself together. And I've taught this class quite a bit over the years, and I've hired professionals to come in and teach my group about dressing for success and feeling confident in it. And one thing I notice a lot is that people, when their weight changes, they tend to have a hard time changing up their attire, which I noticed even when I was doing a lot of fitness after having gained weight from my car accident, clothing wasn't quite fitting right. I was just kind of hoping no one would notice. Then I'd look at pictures and I'd go, oof. I just didn't fit right in them. I didn't want to accept that I was going through these changes. And so that threw me off. But when I felt good about myself, the clothing obviously fit better. And recently I was out with a friend and she kind of jokingly says how I'm always so dressed up. So I was like, all right, I'm going to totally dress down. We're just going to get a little happy hour and we're going to go to a movie. So I'm going to be way casual. And then as we were talking and visiting, I was like, oh, there's some live music. And she's like that sounds great we go to the live music and it's at this gorgeous winery and I'm like oh man I am so uncomfortable right now because I am so not dressed how I would for a place like this and everyone's dancing and moving around and I am way way casual and I did notice too that Nobody else cared, but I did. I brought it up twice to different people that we were talking with that I apologized for dressing down so much. And I thought, you know, sometimes we have to learn how to go with the flow, but we also have to make sure we're always dressing for how we want to dress so that we're not having that in the back of our mind. I can tell like times when I'm wearing something that doesn't fit right, I'm kind of tugging on it. I just don't feel like it's showing right. I'm constantly fidgeting. And that is a distraction. So when you dress for success, success with flirting, fun, friendship, you are going to feel so much more present at what you are doing. So it's not about spending big bucks, but it's about taking a moment to check. When I'm meeting with a new client, I often put on a dress, I put myself together a little bit extra because I'm in my professional mode. So what is it that you do to be more confident in how you communicate what it is that you wanna represent? Because of course, you know, our attire is a direct reflection of our charisma. I am looking forward to hearing your feedback. I wanna know what you do to put yourself a little more together and you know, whether it's, hey, you wanna look a little more sexy, you want to have a little more confidence when you're doing some work meeting, or maybe you just wanna be more flexible for the evening. Like why I always say, wear layers, you never know. I mean, here in the Pacific Northwest, the weather's always changing. So what do, is it that you do to be more prepared for success, to build that extra communication of confidence? I am so excited to get your feedback, your updates, and your perspective. Let's continue this conversation again tomorrow like, share, and subscribe, and we'll chat tomorrow.